Hello peoples of YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a static HTML template into an email with values written that are read from a database. You've seen them all. It says, Dear John, this is your email confirmation. Confirmation number 51. Contact name, Dear John. Hey, <laughs> just kidding. It actually reads the name from the database. Um, in this case, my name. And somebody's picking me up on June 5th from Lamb International. Taking me over to Fort Lauderdale. I don't know where I'm going. That's in two days from now. Or three. Now here is the styling. See where it says font family Arial? That's uh, CSS. Now it says this is the this is the actual this is the template I was talking about. You have in curly braces you have the field names. You have the field names that are going to be replaced by some PHP code in our email prep script. So we are going to replace the word customer with the name, with the value from our MySQL query. The reservation number, same thing. But in the database, the reservation number is saved as ID uh, for demonstration purposes. I, I put it as a reservation. I turned I turned, um, I renamed, I gave the ID, the ID field an alias of reservation. Um, here was just file, look at contents file name. We read a static template, a static file. In this case, it's on the same folder as our script. We read the contents of it, and then we replace it we replace we go through each of each field in our array from data we go through each field and replace every incidence of each field with the value from our query for example if it's if it finds the word reservation between curly braces it'll replace it with the name of the person And remember, this is an email. This is for a human to read. So we are going to output a readable date and also a readable time. Nobody likes to read 2011-0605. It's better just to say June 5th of 2011. And these are two functions, nice date and nice time each one taking a parameter of string. Now, everything seems in place. Here we're connecting, on this line we connect to our database, select the database name, and then we connect to it. Now this returns a 1 if it connects. If it doesn't connect, it'll return 0. If it won't connect... Well, and th this is just testing. This is a local test. Now the, the server is a remote server, but everything else... Um, the script is running on my local machine. So... I don't really worry right now for... for outputting MySQL errors. And since this is an email thing, um, you don't want to send MySQL errors to your to your client. I don't think it'll work though. The email won't be sent. So we are 
parsing our email for client number 52. This is our locations table. Location 1 is Air Miami International. Location 2 is Fort Lauderdale International. Now we see here that record number 51 has a pickup location of 1. Then we go back to when we go back to our browser of Firefox. We see that pickup location is Miami International Airport. But before the whole word Miami International, before those, we have um, we have hyphenated the airport code from the short version of it. And then we have the rest of the fields. You can turn this into a voucher. Um, I don't know, print it out, mail it to your customer, like I've seen um, Tarico and other companies that send you these vouchers, or like custom made vouchers. You know, I would suggest um, writing it on like a piece of um, piece of paper, making a table, and then so you don't have to go designing and clipping all your TRs and TDs and then you get stuck in the middle. <laughs>